When I moved into this place, I had barged across a spinet piano. I paid 50 bucks for it. I got a little bitty barge out there, and I had a Volkswagen van, and I brought it in the back. We were very low in the water, and the captain of the barge said, how come we're so low? What you got in there, a piano? <laughs> and of course, when we hit the beach, <laughs> I popped open the back of my Volkswagen van, and there was a piano in there. So I moved in with a $50 piano and a golden retriever and some hand tools and a sleeping bag. Yeah. And on that $50 piano, I, I finished, on that very piano, I finished Omani Mysterio. Morton Lauritsen seems to me one of the few living composers who I would call great. He is one of the few composers who I have conviction will be performed 100, 200 years from now. His music has a kind of authority as well as a beauty. He seems to recapitulate the entire history of Western choral music uh, in his compositions, which still seem fresh and contemporary. He is, I think there's no other word for it, a genius. Sure, on this shining night, a very pantheistic poem, feeling at one with nature and the wondrous awe that one has in being within nature. And certainly on a shining night, I experience those on my island so, so often on Walden Island. And you feel at one with, the, with nature and the world. And there was this one chord that he played that I will never forget. That's when I went, oh my God, I'm in the presence of greatness. Morton Lordson's music, it's all over the world now. And that to me is, is something that all Americans, I guess, can be proud of. Das erste Mal, dass ich meine Begegnung mit Morton Lordson gemacht habe. I listened to this music and I was completely thrilled. I never heard in my life such beautiful music. great mystery. Life's a mystery. I'm right on the water. I'm looking west. I'm looking towards Canada on Cowlitz Bay. This is the greatest thing that ever happened to me in my whole life. A kórusok nagyon szeretik Martin Lauretzen zenéjét. We sometimes realize that choirs like uh, some composers. For example, Martin Lauritsen, his music returns very often to our competitions. Uh, I think uh, his music touching the people very much and uh, so this fills the choirs and, and uh, they like to sing his uh, pieces. <laughs>